All right, everyone, welcome back to the Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode in the offseason here. And we are going to do the re-sign stage and uh, the free agency stage as well. And, of course, we will get to see if players overall-wise went up or down, right? So, not a busy offseason here. Pretty quick, actually. Um, we only got a few big-name players to sign. Uh, we got a lot of cap room here, so we should be fine. We got a few AHL guys, but I'm thinking that um, Raffle and Atkinson and Calvert, they're not really needed anymore, considering the fact that Dono and Bjorkstrand are most likely going to jump and move up to the team this year. So these guys, they might not even need to be signed, right? Because they're just going to... They're just gonna waste our cap room unless they want like no money. So let me let me check here what they want. They're all under a million so far, so that's fine. They could play in the AHL team if that that would be fine. We'll save them for last though. We gotta get the big boys done first, right? So we're gonna go with Jack Johnson first. Um now he's he's only gonna be here for a couple more years. As long as he's an eighty seven overall, he could stay on the team, right? So, mmm. Yeah, he wants he wants a bit here. So, I mean, if we give him four-year contract, that, it's a little old. I only want him here for two more years, but, I mean, we could trade him away after two more seasons, right? So, 5,720,000. All right, times 0.85. That's only 4.8 million, so that's fine. For four years for Jack Johnson, he'll be with a different team later on, so that's good. So four million eight hundred and sixty-five thousand for Jack Johnson, that's perfect. And then there was someone else right here that we need to get. Tyler Toffoli. He's a big part of our team here. Um, I want him for four years, yes. Four million six hundred and ninety thousand, that is perfect. Times point eight five. Three point nine million, that's Pretty big steal, so we could get the him for this. Actually, we're gonna have to get him for three million nine hundred ninety thousand. Yeah, we could do that. Save a little bit of cap room right there. Save ten grand. Could have been just an even four mil, but nah. I'm not gonna do that, right? Gotta save every penny. So Marisa Lincoln's the next one. Uh, he just wants a one-year deal. What's he gonna turn out to be anyway? Looking like he's going to be a backup goalie for life. So, um... Hmm. One-year deal will be fine because we don't know what the other goalie is going to jump up to be. The one we have there that we acquired last year. So, um... We'll give him a one-year... Deal. That, that'll be fine. Um, he actually only needs to get... 800000 for one year. That's That's fine. That's a perfect deal right there. And we'll see what um, the 81 overall goalie that's 22 years old turns out to be. Because we don't want to sign him long term and then end up having to tr keep him. And we can just, you know, trade him away. We don't want to have two backup goalies here for a long period of time, right? So, uh, easy decision to renew the contract. All right, so everything is good goaltending wise. So, there's our NHL guys. Then we got our AHL guys. Potential NHL guy. We don't know yet. So um, he's got better potential as well. So that's, that's um, important to look at as well. So uh, we've got everyone signed here. Which is really good. Everything is fine. Connor McDavid still making 765000 for two more years. Wow. Uh, so let's go to the unsigned players and just get a bunch of our AHL guys back. So these guys are most likely going to be playing in the AHL now. Support them younger guys, right? So 950,000. I'm going to skip right through this quickly because I know this isn't the most entertaining part. So I'll try to go quick. Um, yeah, we'll give them one year deals just because that's what I'm looking for here. 945,000. All right, 803. I'm trying to save as much cap room as possible for you guys because you guys might say we should make a trade for someone, whatnot, right? We need to have this cap room because you never know. 
Whoops. Wrong numbers. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, nope, 780,000 is good. It's perfect. Trop will get these guys in here. Uh, he wants a two-year deal. How about a one-year deal? My whole AHL roster is going to be based off of one-year deals. Uh, times 0.85. There we go. 705,000. Now we'll have to go 710. All right, so... Uh, next guy is Suster and Prout. So 890,000. I'm liking how they only want these one-year deals, though. That's fine by me, because I can just sign them for the same price next year. Very cheap. 80 overall defenseman. He'll probably want a little bit more. Yeah, Prout wants a bit more. He's a top six, but he's in the AHL. Um, 1,305,000. It might just be best to let him go. Unless we can get him for under a mil. Yeah, we can't get him for under a mil. But um, I suppose he can help the AHL guys for one year. He'll be fine for one year, I suppose. But after this year, I don't think I'll re-sign him again. Whoops. Um, need to give him... Yep. One year. 1.10 oh, mil. 1.110. Oh. Uh, trainer, you need to come back on the team. Trainer was our late round pick. He's getting up there. I mean, he, he could prove to be a fourth liner, right? So, 745. That's good. Let's skip a day again just so we can filter some guys out here. <clears throat> All right. Filter these AHL guys out. All right, so we only have a few more players to sign, and Bjorkstrand's one of them. So, what's he looking like he's going to become here? Oh, my God, he's looking like he's going to become barely anything because he doesn't want much. So he's asking for years one at three. Uh, years one and two. Oh, sorry, sorry, years offered was three. Years one, it's two. So he only wants a two-year deal, 925000 You know what? We'll do that. We'll, we'll be the one... This will be one of our guys that will get more than one year. He's most likely going to join the team. I would think. 790000 for two years. That's fine for Bjorkstrand. Um, whoever that guy is, I've never seen him. This guy, 995000 Really? Jeez. Wants a little bit more than everyone else. Um, I have to go 850000 All right. So, um, you know, we'll sign you as well for uh, three years. Wow. This guy wants three years. Can't change his contract type. Uh, I can't. Oh, is he a new player entering the league? Or No. What the hell? I can't. Change the years or anything with this guy. What the fuck? Jeez, he's... Okay, you know what? Fuck you. We have better players anyway. Um... Hmm... You could probably play in the NHL team right now, so... Uh, 885,000... Only 750k. All right. Damn it! I keep moving this around. Nope. It's actually 755,000 for three years. We'll sign him, right? Might as well. Sim a day. Filter some guys out, and then see who I want to sign and who can fit on the AHL team. All right. So. All right. Perfect. So. Um, I don't think we need Will Smith anymore. We don't need this guy. And then these guys can stay unsigned. Now, we don't need these guys yet, so they can stay unsigned. And there you go. There is everyone signed for cheap prices. 
Perfect. We're good. Ten minutes to do all of that. So, let's go take a look at some free agents. Is there anyone we could possibly grab here? Because, um... I'm thinking Bjorkstrand's going to jump up uh, to the NHL team, so is Dano, so... A lot of comments were saying Atkinson should get off the team, right? Uh, same with Raffle. So, we'll see here. What do we got in free agency? Is there anyone good? Uh, Artem Anisimov, who we gave up um, earlier. What did we trade him for, anyway? Where did I trade him? Um... We traded him and a few third-round picks for Tyler Toffoli, so uh, we don't need him back on the team. He wants a lot, uh, but I mean, we've got that third line filled. Well, actually, we don't, do we? I don't really have the third line filled out, but I don't think we need him. Potential-wise, uh, Joel Armia, you know, he's kind of old now. That's fine. Is there any big-name goalies? No. Four-star potential goalies. Bunch of them. But um, we'll let other teams take them. Uh, so... All skaters. Mm. Let me take a look at our team. I don't think we need to bring Anisimov back. Or should we? Should we bring him back? That's the real question. Alright, so... First line is probably going to be... Uh, let me see. Kirby Reichel went down because he wasn't playing top six. So, yeah, like we're not we're not even gonna need him. We're not even gonna need Nisama back in the in the mold here. We're fine. We don't need him. We are perfectly fine. So, let's go check out the overalls now. The new overalls. Let's give it a minute. Uh, that was a very easy off season for me. But um, in this video. In the comment section, uh, you guys comment what we should do um, with our lineup and um, what we should do um, trade-wise, if there's anything. And, um, yeah. So, I said in the last episode I want you to do it on this video because I'll wait a couple days. And um, focus on recording other stuff. Stuff for the community channel, Ride to Hell, Retribution on that channel and uh, maybe live the life which people have been asking for so focus on that stuff while you guys debate about what we should do in our GM mode here it takes forever to sim to the next month oh my god Wow, this takes forever. All right, finally, I got there. All right, so I should actually probably go till the preseason games pop up because that's normally when shit kicks in, right? So, come on, go. All right. Uh, scouting assignment. Yep, let's see what's going on here. Defenseman there, defenseman there. First round, second round, top ten. Not many defensemen that are listed in the top ten. Alright, so we'll go OHL for a month. And... Let's get to the day before the preseason here of year five. All right, so let's take a look at the overall, see what everything is looking like. I'm excited. Let's see. Uh, where do I go do that again? Roster moves, that's it. Roster moves. 
What do we got here? We got 91 Ekblad, 91 McDavid, 91 Drew in. All right, so McDavid went up by uh, two, I do believe, since we last saw him. Ekblad went up by two. Uh, Johansson went... Did he go down or no? He's He only went, went up by one, right? He's probably going to cap off there as our second line center. In the end, he'll probably end up being second line. Uh, Johnson stayed the same. That's that's good. That's good. Ooh, he's only at four-star potential now, though. All right, so um, it's looking like Johnson's time is up soon after a year or two more. Murray, 80, um, 87 there. You still got room to grow. That's fine. Um, Ekman Larson, 87. Eberle, 87. To Foley, 86. Reichel, 86. Now he's listed as a third line scorer, so that's good. That's where I want him to be. He went down a little bit. Monahan, all right. Everything's good with him. Felino, 84. He is 30. That's fine. He's got one year left. He could stay on the team, right? Savard, top six. Wenberg, third line. Erickson, Jenner, third line. Dano, depth. Prout, top six. Schwartz. Um, 77. So, Bjorkstrand didn't grow at all. That's really disappointing. And near did, um, Dano. It's really disappointing, actually. Very disappointing. So, um, Marisa Lincoln, 83. And look at that. Backup goalie. Uh, Santeri Lepayanen. Lepayanen. Whatever. However you pronounce that. So let's take a look at his stats in comparison to the other guys. Mirza Lincoln. Mirza Lincoln's is more well-rounded. But he's got better potential. So they're both slated to be backups. What do we do about that? You guys can decide about that too. Should Mirza Lincoln be the backup? Because he has played a couple years in the NHL already. Um, he did struggle last year. Or should this guy be the backup? But keep in mind um, of their potentials for a uh, four-star and uh, three, three and a half star. Age, 24 for Marissa Lincoln. 22 for Lapainen. And um, also, his overall Lapainen's is more swayed based on the reflexes category there because a lot there's a few 90s in there, right? So, who should we have as the backup goalie? That's a question. We go defense. Got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Send down Prout. We don't need him anymore. He can play in the American Hockey League. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so we'll send down. Uh, we're gonna need to bring someone up. Who should we bring up? Do you think Bjorkstrand should have his chance to play? Ah, eh, he has a shitty defense category. He can score some goals. You never know. I don't think it's his time yet to jump up. So you might just have to bring up Raffle for the fourth line again. Or Atkinson. Nah. Hmm. All right. You know what? I think it's Dano's time to... St uh, no, it's not Dano's time. He's not... Still needs room to grow. He's a depth forward. Wow, it's been a very disappointing overall check here because Dano, I was expecting him to be at least at 82, 83 so we could jump up. And same with Bjorkstrand. So it's looking like Raffle's coming up. Schwartz is going down. Um, Dano's going down as soon as I switch this out. They're both snipers. God. How many do we have here anyway? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 12 up right now. But should Dano go back down and we'll bring up, because this will be the fourth line, Boone Jenner, Raffle, and Atkinson. He's come back on the team this year, I guess. And we'll send Dano down. So you guys can decide our fourth line situation. Um, actually, you can decide all of our lines and what we should do uh, mainly with that fourth line, though. And the goaltending situation. What what should we do about that? Who should be our backup? So, uh, yeah. That's uh, really all I can think of right now. 
That's all I can think about doing in this episode. So there you go, that's what the lines look like right now. That'll be changed. But anyway, uh, I won't record for a few days so you guys can get your opinions in the comment section. So yeah, um, there's nothing else I could show you. I think we're good. I think we're good. That should be good, right? I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys the trading block, see what we can um, look at when it comes to fourth liners and other goalies. Uh, so we'll do that before I end this episode. Is there actually any, like, high overall fourth liners? 82 fourth liners? This guy's got... Oh, this guy's a grinder, that's why. Okay, so he's a definite fourth liner, alright. Some of these guys are gonna grow, though, right? So, there's some fourth liners for you guys to look at. And, um... What else was I gonna show you? I had something in mind. Actually, no, I didn't. Never mind. What am I saying? <laughs> I had nothing but the fourth liners. I just want to show you guys some fourth liners there. The list overall wise. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know what we should do with the backup goalies um, and our lines in general. Who should be where? And especially that fourth line. And uh, what do you guys make of Bjorkstrand and Dano? Are they ever going to. Uh, go up overall wise should we just trade them for something else for a couple picks you know in this come in the coming years uh, were they were they both draft busts for us so um, let me know all that shit in the comments and I'll take a few days off here and focus on different series so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the year five sim bye bye